Okay, welcome back. Here we are inside Matrix Gold once again. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a return viewer, thank you so much for watching the videos. And if you're a subscriber, of uh, my greatest and deepest appreciations. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please, by all means, uh, take the time and go ahead and do so now. Uh, I had a request for a... Um, uh, the transform menu uh, set points uh, command. Uh, so this should be a little, a pretty short video. Uh, so let's go ahead and just dive into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my curves menu, and I'm just going to grab me a, a freeform curve or interp curve, and I'll change that to yellow. And I'm just going to draw something out, something like this, perhaps. And then I'm going to take that. I'm going to turn on my control points. And let's take a couple of those points and uh, kind of just drag them up. And we'll kind of take these points, drag them down. So we just have a curve that goes in uh, all different directions there, right? Uh, and then the next thing I'll do is go ahead and grab a solid. And I'll just grab the box here. And we'll just go ahead and draw a box out here. Uh, just make it easy. Uh, something like this. And we'll take that box. We'll turn that to green. Uh, and we'll go ahead and shade it. Uh, and then we'll kind of go in here and we'll do a little manipulation to it real quick so we can get it all deformed. And we'll do a, a taper. Uh, and we'll take this bottom here and kind of drag it in a little bit. Uh, we'll go over here, uh, select side, grab a different side, this one here. Uh, kind of do something like that. Uh, and maybe uh, one more uh, something like here and we'll go ahead and turn on this other control point so we can kind of just get a crazy shape out there and then we'll just hit enter and we'll delete that box uh, because we don't need it anymore okay so we have this all right we have these two items this is a, a curve that kind of just wiggles around up down left and right <laughs> Uh, through all our uh, X, Y, and Z directions, and the same thing with this uh, here. Uh, so, set points is just basically a way to manipulate points on items or items themselves uh, to get to a certain plane, I guess. So, uh, let's just do a quick example here. It's probably easier uh, if I just show it. Uh, so if I take that curve and I go to set points, my box pops up and I have uh, set X, set Y, and set Z, world or uh, to align to C plane. Uh, we'll just keep it at world. Um, <clears throat> so I, I can take my line. Uh, usually you only want to use one direction. Uh, there may be some occasions where you'll use two, but uh, really not so much. Uh, you just want to align this curve in one direction. So uh, let's take this curve and he, right here, if you look, I can go to the, uh, the Y and X in this direction. I go to the Z and X in this direction. And of course you want to keep an eye on these things here. Your uh, plane so let's just take it in the x direction so we're going to go ahead and click off these two here and then i'll just hit okay and as you can see it places me a curve out there uh straight but it's not really straight it's just lining all those points in the x direction and i can move it along i can kind of pick a spot where i want to snap it to another curve or another item uh but if I click on it and you still look in the, the right view, it still has that curve, but it, it's flattened out, right? Uh, so that's kind of what it does. So let's go back because there's some other things in here. You can also take it uh, and it's really good with points. So maybe uh, you have a certain points that you need to manipulate. So let's just take these and then we hit, well, sorry, uh, take take these points say and we want to uh, set points to uh, the x direction and now we can move those points keeping the shape except for those upper points there and snap it so uh, we're able to manipulate those points around on on the curve right 
Uh, so let's keep on going. Uh, so let's go ahead and take uh, this curve again. And let's go back to set points. And let's say we want to do it in the Y direction. So we'll do it in the Y direction. So now they're all aligned. And again, you can snap it anywhere uh, you want to line it to any item. Uh, and uh, take it and it will keep its shape in the one direction but the direction that you want to align it to uh it, it transforms it right which is uh what what you're kind of doing <clears throat> and uh the next thing is we have this item here if we try to go ahead and set points on that you can't because it's a poly surface uh so you need to go ahead and e explode it right uh so take your item and explode it. So select items to explode. This one here, hit enter. So now we're, the, we have all many different surfaces, but we can turn on points because they're all poly surfaces, right? So we have all the points on it. Same thing, uh, say, uh, you know, maybe you want to extend this one out, right? So you take those points, go to your set points, uh, change it from the Y to the Z direction, hit OK, and now you're able to uh, manipulate those points on down in the Z direction, right? And it keeps them flat, flat along the, the surface there. So let's go back. Uh, the main reason probably would be, say, you want to take this surface here and go to set points, and you want to take it in the X direction uh, to align all those points up in the X Do I have two of them on? I think I do. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. I clicked off of it, so let's click it back on. Yeah, I had two on. See, it went to a point, right? So I, I guess if you're wanting a point on something, uh, that's... You know, you could do that. Uh, that's kind of what it will do, is go to a point if you have two directions on at one time. Uh, and then you could actually take all those points and cl click on it again and go to the Z direction. Uh, and it'll, let's see, take all those points, right click, go to the Z direction, hit OK, and now it'll take those points down to the Z direction. So it's basically just a real quick way to manipulate points. Uh, and again, you don't have to take them all. You can take just a portion of the ones you want. And we'll set those in the Z direction as well. And, well, sorry, turn off those. Hit OK. And go to our front view here. Uh, and then you can manipulate the points around. What it's, uh, I mean, what to me, what it's probably really good for is if you have a, a surface, a planar surface, right? Uh, and you're doing uh, point manipulation. So let's rebuild this real quick. With the, uh, let's put some more points on it. Uh, so let's take it up to six and six, and we'll take it to a three and, uh, three and four and hit OK. So now if you take this surface and put on points, right, you're able to go in here and uh, start to manipulate the surface, right? So we'll take those center points there and we'll just go ahead and drag them up. So we got a nice little bow. Uh, but say, let's say, let's get in here so I can take a better look. Let's say we got one of these points that's just totally out of line. You know, it's it's way up here. Uh, and uh, you're trying to get that surface uh, more uh, uniform. Uh, and you, that point just is not really giving you the look that you want. Uh, it, it's a real easy way to take that point and go to your set. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Let's go in here and we'll grab, oh, array. We want set points. Select object two. We want this point right here and we'll hit enter. So now it brings it up, right? So if I just keep the Z on and hit okay, I can take that and then snap it right there to that point and it takes it right back so it's nice and even with those points. Uh, so that's kind of really the, if you're uh, doing uh, surface editing, uh, and you, you, you have something that's, you know, maybe way out of line or something, and you want to try and uh, align it back with something, it, it's probably the best 
way to do it uh, it's just another way to and then you can take that and just click on the point there and it just takes it back and lines it right back up so it's a great way to be able to manipulate surfaces and get your points in line so uh, i hope this is what you were looking for uh but uh yeah it's kind of uh occasionally you'll probably use it uh not a lot but if you're doing a lot of surface modeling you'll probably use it uh, it's not a bad thing to have uh, because it's real easy to get things in line and uh, get everything all uh, together the way you want it so i hope that helps and if it did please leave a like subscribe and a comment below thanks very much for watching and good designing